people of the purple butterfly here, otherwise known as people of seven on Twitter and YouTube, people of elsewhere on the internet. My blog is located at purple butterfly dash people dot blogspot dot com and my soaps purple butterfly soaps can be located at people dot etsy dot com. And Good Friday was yesterday. I went to my mom's church because my church doesn't have a Good Friday service. And we went over the 12 last sayings. So I'm going to tell you what those are now. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Luke 23:34. This day thou shalt be with me in paradise. Luke 23:45. Woman, behold thy son. And they misspelled it on this paper, it says they. <laughs> Which was at John nineteen twenty six to twenty seven and my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Which was Matthew twenty seven forty six. I thirst John nineteen twenty twenty eight. It is finished John nineteen thirty. And into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, which is Luke 23:46. Every year, I mean, it's a tradition. So even if my church doesn't have um, the seven saints, I'll find a church that does. But it's a tradition that we go over the seven sayings or seven last sayings of Jesus before his resurrection because that was his uh, basic goodbye in the human form before he took on his earthly, um, his heavenly realm, and then he's coming back again, y'all. You can't have Easter without Good Friday. So we honor that. In the meantime, I found this nail polish that has been lost for like a year. So... I don't know if it's actually going to be good enough to, you know, do my nails with. It's called Glass Pink. Is that pretty or what? But I figure before I totally mess up this nail polish, show you what I'm working with at the moment. And as you can tell, I kind of messed it up, so I kind of tried to doctor it. Um, these three fingers, if you look really, really close, I don't know if you can see it in the light, but it's like my nail polish is a close match, but if you look at the baby finger and the other fingers, there is a difference in that color. And the moment I go outside, people can tell. So I'm going to give that a try. I've reduced half my project max down to four different projects. The only one I have to go through now was this green one over here, and that was probably going to, um, well, that's probably going to make three or four different projects because there's different types of yarn in those bags, and I've already got a great big plastic bag over there, uh, some yarn, so forth, so on. I've located um, that book I originally learned how to knit with, um, I can't believe I'm, I'm knitting, and there's another book that has pictures and diagrams of every stitch. I still can't read patterns anymore, but because of the pictures in this book, it was a... Um, Harper's Point, um, Hampton's Point. It was the book that basically taught people that were not um, English speakers how to knit, and if they weren't from, you know, the. It basically it gives you a visual definition of each stitch, whether you know English or not. All you have to do is memorize the symbols. So I'm going to 
basically relearn how to knit because, you know, I understand it's supposed to come back after you start doing things, but it hasn't yet. So I'm going to start from scratch. I got my yarn situated out for different types of yarn, and I'm going to just start over. I also have learned that I need to relearn French because je me parle français, très fluent. I could say it, but comprehension-wise, I'm not remembering everything that, I mean, it's like I watch a video of a friend, it's totally in French, and I could pick out the gist, but I can't respond to it. It's like that portion of my brain is missing. So, you know, oh, hold on, let me grab this right quick. Everybody's always asking me, what's under that cup? Well, that's my favorite cologne. And because of the setup I have going on here, if I have the, um, like, the curtain down where all you have is that bright, I mean, that side of it is, you know, that's, usually covered when it's cold, but when it's not cold, then, you know, all that bright air and perfumes, you don't store your perfumes next to bright sunlight. Well, not if you want it. <laughs> but there's a lack of storage in this little room, so I just cover it up. And it's usually under here, but since I'm going to wash my hair, and, you know, deep condition it, do my nails, so forth, so on. Might as well add my smell goods to that mix. Yup, yup. Anyway, you have been brought up to date on People at 7, People at Elsewhere on the Internet. My blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. And my soaps, Purple Butterfly Soaps, can be located at people.etsy. Y'all stay blessed and stay tuned. Have a blessed and happy Resurrection Day, happy Easter, happy Seder, or whichever reverence means the most to you. Have a blessed one. Bye now.